Hi and welcome back. I am finally coming back around to day 13 of Ethany Dawn's 31 Days of Tarot. Um, so the question for this is about which major cards correlate to your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, I'm showing these with my Swift weight deck um, to start with and may go into other ones. So my sun sign is Aries um, and the major arcana card corresponding to that is the emperor. And I think <laughs> it's so funny to me. My sun sign is a sign I had fought against. I was convinced that something must have been wrong with that. And part of that is because I am um, a very early Aries, a cusp with Pisces even. Um, and I definitely for a long time thought that Aries was not me. And even with this emperor, um, my first thought is, this is not me. But as I consider the card more specifically, um, you know, there's some things I don't want to admit, like, you know, the, the armor protecting him um, and the mountains protecting him from expressing the little bit of emotion there. Um, I am pretty protective with my emotions. Um, but more than that, and certainly on a more positive aspect, as I consider the emperor as being methodical, being bringing um, order to chaos, even more than say bringing happiness or beauty to chaos, like the empress, who I would generally be more inclined to want to be like, um, I definitely do um, line up more with the emperor with that. Um, yeah, and, and your friends and family know that if they have a project they want to complete, they can come to me and I'm going to help them lay out the steps um, to achieve that. Um, and despite some of my other tendencies, I do also have a, a sort of soft spot for authority as much as I don't want authority. I know. <laughs> um, but uh, the other parts of me, specifically my moon sign, is actually Pisces. Um, so the card for that is moon, and oh my goodness, with the moon sign being tied to emotions and um, more subconscious, yes, like the lobster, like the dog, like the wolf, I very much respond to nature and my surroundings. Um, if it's rained for a week, I'm going to start feeling that in my mood and in my outlook on life. You know, if the moon is full or just a glorious crescent, um, it's something that I, I notice and that plays a role in my perception of the world. Um, on a slightly less obvious note, I mean, of course, the association with the moon is about illusion as well, um, and some about deception, and, my goodness, there's nothing like a video to make you realize how strange things sound sometimes, um, but I love illusions, especially reflections, um, one of my favorite things to photograph is reflections, and similarly, I love a good trick or deception, a good um, Loki or the coyote were the, um, trickster move, um, and I definitely think that does have a, a place in my emotions as well. And as you see within my card, sorry, have some more tea. Um, finally, my rising sign is Scorpio with the death card. Um, yeah, I, oh wow, I just noticed that. That's really cool. I just now noticed that those two towers there with the sun setting and um, the death card are the same towers there with the moon card, which is really cool. I need to think about that more later. Um, change. Endings of seasons um, for myself and others. I do... How to phrase that? I mean, I think more than I expected, I've gone through major shifts in my, my life and um, deaths of 
perspectives and dreams um, and deaths of outlooks um, that have led to something more, a, a change and a moving forward. And I, in some ways, think that, especially those on the outside, can actually associate that with me, um, in part because I'm not afraid of it. Um, and I guess also probably coming back to my very, very emotional moon sign, I do tend to see um, signs or symbols of those change um, that I will share with others at times. So overall, I really do, <laughs> I think watching some other videos have been like, oh wow, or reading some comments, thinking, that would be a great like three card spread to have for your life when I've seen others and maybe I don't love mine as much as I um, I think of from others but um, yeah I I do I think it has a nice mirror going on to it and overall I do feel like many of these cards have played out and continue to play out in my life and in my personality. Um, yeah. Um, and I think in this last year in particular, the Emperor card kept coming up reversed whenever I was um, really not treating myself the way I should and not giving myself the respect and setting up the boundaries I needed. Um, and, you know, of course that plays out with Emperor for most people, but even more so with Emperor being the card from my rising sign, it was, it was kind of a slap in the face. <laughs> so that is, um, day 13. I'm going to be filming a few today because the light is finally good here and I'm alone. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this view and I'll see you soon.